this week on Outdoor Bound TV. We travel to the Standing Rock Indian Reservation near Bullhead, South Dakota, where I get a chance to hunt for buffalo with the Lakota Sioux Nation and Tribal Council member Ron Braunotter and his family. We learn firsthand about the significance of the buffalo to the native people and try our hand at putting a stock on one of these massive animals. Oh yeah! All right. Awesome. What a big old beast. 75 yards. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Real Deal Mineral, Meyer Recreational Buildings, Smith Brothers Meats, and Colby Chrysler. Real Deal Mineral. Deer eat it gone. Real Deal Mineral is the real deal. It contains less than 7% salt and more of the minerals deer need for proper gestation. And it's a great way to ensure that your deer are getting the proper vitamins and minerals they need to grow big horns. We started using Real Deal Mineral on our farm this year and the results, well, they speak for themselves. Real Deal Mineral. Check out our website or a dealer near you. At Meyer Recreational Buildings, you'll get a certified building experience where we assure you a worry-free, guaranteed, high-quality recreational building. Designed by outdoorsmen like you, Meyer Recreational Buildings are built with the highest quality American-made materials. Build with confidence. Build with Meyer. My name is Jeff Meyer from Meyer Recreational Buildings. Call me today for a better way to build. Visit our website at MeyerRecreational.com and pick out your design today. We don't cut corners, we cut steaks. We're Smith Brothers Meats. Pick up your favorite smoked or fresh cut meats and choose from our local cheese and dairy selections. They're all waiting for you, right here. From our coolers to your table, discover why Smith Brothers Meats has been a family tradition since 1984. Visit us online to learn more or stop in today. You won't go home empty handed. Smith Brothers Meats, Colby, Wisconsin. At Colby Chrysler Center, our number one priority is you. We're looking for a new vehicle, a quality pre-owned, or help from our courteous service department. We take pride in everything that we do. Dodge Ram voted Motor Trend Truck of the Year with a powerful Hemi engine, air ride off-road suspension, and optional Ram box. And we thank you for making us Central Wisconsin's number one choice. At Colby Chrysler, it's all about making you feel at home. Welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home. Welcome home to Colby Chrysler. Hi everyone, welcome to Outdoor Bound TV. I'm your host, Kurt Walbeck. You know, Sitting Bull is probably one of the most famous Indian chiefs in all of U.S. history. Well, on today's show, I get a chance to hunt buffalo along the Grand River. That's where Sitting Bull was born and later tragically killed. Let's head to the Standing Rock Indian Reservation in Western South Dakota right now. Hi, my name is Ron Brownotter. Um, I grew up in uh, Bullhead, South Dakota on the Standing Rock Sioux Indian Reservation. I'm also on the Standing Rock Sioux Tribal Council. The uh, Standing Rock Sioux Indian Reservation is approximately 2.3 million acres. Uh, probably two thirds of that reservation, our reservation is on the South Dakota side and uh, about a third is on the North Dakota side. I come from several bands. Uh, my dad's side is uh, Hunkapapa Lakota basically Sitting Bull's band. On my mom's side is uh, Yank Dene. Sitting Bull was mainly born along the Grand River and he died along the Grand River. The Grand River runs uh, through part of our ranch um, and that's where most of our buffaloes hang out down there by the river. Today we're going to be stalking uh, this bull. Um, he's a wise bull, he's an older bull, so we're going to attempt to uh, saddle our horses and uh, cover some ground 
and see if we can um, find him and ultimately uh, stalk him because we got to get close to him. Uh, we're going to use a muzzle loader, um, preferably 150 yards at least to knock him down. So that'll be a challenge and um, I'm looking forward to the challenge and see if we can get it done today. up there. Oh yeah, I see him right on the skyline. Yep, that's them. They're right on the skyline there, Ron. I think it would be better if we cross right here and then we can go up that little ridge and give Lloyd the horses and get a better um, sneak up on them if we're on foot. Okay, so we'll cross the river right here, cut the distance, and then on foot from there? Yep. Okay, All let's right. do it. I'll lead the way. All right. Yeah, our buffalo run on 20,000 acres, and it's um, from, from hills to trees to flat areas, all native grass, and it's, it's not easy uh, to hunt. It'll be a challenge to challenge uh, any hunter on their abilities to see if they can stalk and track and, and um, get the right shot to um, kill it. So it, it's, it'll be a test of uh, the hunter's uh, expertise, uh, how well they can uh, stalk, uh, ride, and uh, shoot. Might be up here. Let's take a look. Okay. There. Yep. There they are, right there. They're right on the edge of that ridge. Do you think they see us? No. I think if we flanked them around this way, they won't have any idea we'd come up on them. Okay. I'll follow you. Now, when Ron and I left you last, we were down in the river valley. We had spotted a herd of buffalo up on the ridge. Well, we've made our way up there, and I don't know if you can tell behind us, but there's a whole lot of prairie and no buffalo. They've moved off uh, over the top of this next little ridge. So uh, we're gonna beat feet and uh, try to catch up with them and see if we can get a shot on one of these big bulls. Looks like we've got a herd of about eight bulls just ahead of us. They're probably four or 500 yards out there right now. The problem is they're in the middle of the prairie and there's not a lot of cover to be able to get a stock on these. We're gonna have to probably do a little bit of crawling and try to use some of the little uh, valleys and, and humps and holes to try to get in. I wanna try to get into within about 150 to 200 yards. We're using a Traditions muzzle loader today, a 50 caliber muzzle loader for the buffalo. The other thing about buffalo we have to be careful is they're a very dangerous animal, so um, we've got to keep that in mind as well. We're going to try to close the distance in this last 400 yards. Come on along. I tell you what, anybody that says putting a stock on a buffalo here in South Dakota is easy, well, they got another thing coming. Um, we got up on the prairie, we left the horses down the river valley, and we put a stock up here onto the prairie, and we got onto a herd of about eight or nine really good bulls. And um, we're closing the distance to them, and all of a sudden they stood up and the tails came up, and off they went. And uh, that was probably about 10 minutes ago, and we just caught a sight of them about two miles away, and they're still going. So 
Uh, we're gonna have to regroup here and see if we can get around them a little different way and put a stock on them. It's pretty tough, as you can see out here in the prairie, there's nothing to hide behind. So it's really crawling on your hands and knees and trying to hide behind bushes as much as you can. And unfortunately, we spooked this bunch. So back at it. buffalo are still going but one of the really big bulls dropped down into this wash behind us and left the rest of the herd and I think he's trying to circle back so what we're gonna try to do with any luck is we're gonna try to get up in this ravine and see if we can put a stock on him and hopefully he's still there when we get there. Despite crawling on our bellies to get within range of these bulls, they knew something was wrong and the game was up. Day one came to a close without a buffalo on the ground. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Mission by Matthews, True Fire Releases, MBS, and Pro Designs. This is my life, the weekend warrior. No more production lines or deadlines. This is why I work five days a week. I need speed, power, precision. I expect no less than the best. This is my best. This is my chance. This is my mission. Simple, efficient, powerful. Mission by Matthews. Well, Mark, I gotta hand it to you. I am loving my True Fire Hardcore. I wouldn't steer you wrong, brother. Not only is this thing extremely accurate on the range, its features are deadly in the field. What I noticed, whether you're sweating shooting does in the early season or shivering when that late season buck comes in, that jaw cannot come off that loose. I love my True Fire Hardcore. Wait, what do you got there? That's a hardcore forefinger. Give me that. Not this time, brother. <laughs> the True Fire Hardcore, available at your local retailer. Since 1999, McCuffsky Brush Service has been specializing in right-of-way clearing for power, gas, fiber optic, cable lines, and railroads. MBS is your complete brush and tree removal company, and we also clear woods roads and food plots. Whether working on residential tree trimming or commercial projects, MBS utilizes the most advanced equipment and environmentally friendly clearing methods available. MBS, clearing the way to reliable energy. Visit our website for more information. Pro Designs, sign and printing solutions. For 24 years, we've been rolling up our sleeves, helping grow your business. Designing and printing the finest billboards, signs, and more. More applications, more recognition. Innovation and American craftsmanship make Pro Designs today's leader in printing performance. Pro Designs, sign and printing solutions. Hey everyone, we love to see the photos of the animals you harvest and the fish you catch here on Outdoor Bound TV. Well this season, our friends at Petrick Service Station have once again teamed up with Mike Liga Taxidermy to bring you some great prizes just for submitting your photos to the show. 
Simply log on to the Outdoor Bound TV website, click on the Submit Photo button, and all the instructions and contest rules are right there. All animal photos submitted will be entered into the Hunting Grand Prize Drawing, a Remington Model 700-270 rifle, compliments of Petrick Service Station. All fish photos submitted will be entered into the Fishing Grand Prize Drawing, a professional fish mounting, compliments of Mike Liga Taxidermy. All entries must be received by December 1st to qualify. And remember, you can't win if you don't submit your photos. Here are this week's Outdoor Bound TV viewer photos. second morning here in South Dakota and we're out early this morning and we've spotted our first group of bulls right over this ridge so uh, the problem is just like yesterday they're out in the middle of the prairie so we don't have any cover to try to get close to them so we're gonna try to see if we can crawl out and cut the distance to them a little bit we've got the 300 mag for a backup so let's go see if we can put one of these big bulls on the ground here in South Dakota We got him right here. think we've got them. You know, we saw these bulls and we spotted them back off in the distance and we were able to kind of close the distance and I thought I was going to have to use just a uh, my 300 Magnum and, and we were able to get to within about 200 yards. So I took out the muzzle loader and made the first shot with the muzzle loader and hit them pretty hard but these are some really big animals. They weigh in excess of 2,000 pounds and uh, he just didn't go down so came back and my buddy Terry who was uh, my guide he had uh, he had my rifle so came back got my rifle and he's just over the rise here on the prairie so uh, the rest of the group was running and he slowed back and, and is hanging back so I'm hoping we got him I didn't see him go down they're just over the rise here on the prairie but uh, we're gonna try to get up there and see if we can find this ball
you can see that it's heads down but there's still another bull right with them so we've really got to be careful He's down. He's down, he just rolled over. Ron Brownouter has spotted this bull and it's one of them out here on the prairie that he knew we wanted to take and uh, he spotted it and uh, he said, let's go after that bull this morning and sure enough, we're able to get on him. There's one other bull down there with him. He is down, he's finally rolled over and uh, I'm just shocked with the amount of lead that these animals can take. But again, they're very, very big animals. Let's head down and see if we can get them right now. Buffalo was, was everything to us. We got our food, our, a lot of our blankets, our teepees, our housing. So the buffalo in our ceremonies, and it was important. And when the buffalo were being killed off and the, our people were struggling and, and, and finding it hard to survive, um, that was very a, a trying time for our people. And the buffalo were almost uh, exterminated. People stepped in and, and got some and, and began raising them so they start going back out again. So for us to have buffalo here is um, very good. Uh, they're part of the natural ecosystem and we have to manage them um, to preserve the future of the next offspring being born now coming up to take their place and to keep it going. It's, it's a cycle and uh, it needs to be done. So once Kurt harvests this buffalo today, uh, we'll be taking uh, half of it to get it processed and uh, giving it to Sitting Bull School for their uh, food lunch program. This bull weighs in excess of 2,000 pounds and I wanted to make sure that I could get close enough to put a, a very clean and ethical kill on this animal. Well, it came together twice and we weren't able to get it done. We just weren't able to close the distance to within that 150 yards. Now this morning we got back out, we found the herd right away at daylight and there were about six bulls together uh, off from the rest of the herd and we were successful in getting stocked in close enough and I uh, got to about 150 yards and was actually able to put a shot on with my muzzleloader. But as you probably saw in the video, it didn't have much of an impact on this big bull. Now I'm shooting a 50 caliber 295 grain bullet and I hit the bull right behind the shoulder, and as you can probably tell, he didn't go down and he kept on going. We've just had a fantastic week here with Ron Brown Otter and the folks out here in South Dakota. Uh, a big thank you to the Lakota Sioux Tribe here in uh, western part of South Dakota. They've allowed us to come out here and harvest a buffalo, and uh, this is a very sacred thing for the Lakota people. And the buffalo were instrumental in their uh, history and in their survival here in the western part of the U.S. And uh, to the Lakota people, the buffalo is a representative animal of their culture and of their history here in the U.S. And it's been an honor for us to be able to come here and harvest such an incredible trophy. Again, I, I thank the Lakota Sioux Tribe and the native people here in South Dakota. It has been an incredible trip. They have opened up their homes to us and shared a lot of their history and of their culture. 
uh, here in the western part of the U.S. and uh, it's just been a very life-changing event for me and uh, I tell you to go home with one of these 2,000 plus pound buffalo. Uh, this will be a hunt I'll never forget. Hey, do you want to stay up to date on the cast and crew of Outdoor Bound TV? Find them on Facebook, or you can log on to their website, OutdoorBound.tv. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Team Smackdown Outdoors, Bullseye Sports, People's Choice Credit Union, and The Flower Shop and Westside Nursery. Team Smackdown Outdoors. Smackdown Outdoors, leading the way in custom outdoor art. There is more to buying a bow than just picking it off the shelf. It has to feel right, be comfortable, easy to use, and fit who you are. Whether you are just getting started or are a seasoned marksman, the staff at Bullseye Sports can help you find that perfect fit. Bullseye is Central Wisconsin's largest independent dealer with a complete lineup of over 200 bows in stock and a full service and repair facility. Let us help you hit your mark. Bullseye Sports. We service what we sell and even what we don't. Located on South Central Avenue in Marshfield. Hunting for a new financial provider? Put People's Choice Credit Union in your scope. I enjoy the benefits of my no-fee business checking account, online banking, and mobile money. We refinanced our hosts through People's Choice Credit Union. The rates are low and the convenience of having our loan local is what really matters to us. Financing through People's Choice Credit Union saved me a lot of money because of my low loan rate. People's Choice Credit Union. Stop in today. Looking for all things floral and garden? Then look no further than the Flower Shop and Westside Nursery. The Flower Shop is a full-service florist creating arrangements for any occasion, large or small. Plus, we have gift items and wines available. Call us or order online 24-7 at westsideflower.com. Westside Nursery can help you beautify your garden. We carry a large selection of annuals, perennials, trees, shrubs, and unique hard-to-find plants. We also have bulk mulch and soils available. So whether you want to brighten someone's day or just your front yard, the Flower Shop and Westside Nursery is there for you. Archery equipment provided for Outdoor Bound TV by Mission by Matthews, True Fire Releases, Optimizer by HHA Sports, and Tacticam. If you've ever considered hunting for buffalo, contact Terry Ides at Ides Guides and Buffalo Hides. Their information is on the screen. Folks, join us again here next week when we'll bring you more great hunting and fishing action from around the Midwest, around the nation, and around the world, right here on Outdoor Bound TV. Waji, Nupa, Yamani, Dopas. Five, six, seven, nine. <laughs> <laughs> And welcome back to Outward Bound. And we'll be right back. Is there a way to write that and put it right? Can you write that down on a piece of paper? Outward Bound. We'll be right back. After these messages. <laughs> Tonka.